Hello, and in this video tutorial brought to you by How To Tutorial Videos, I'm going to show you how to slice your Photoshop made website layouts and export them into Dreamweaver. Now, you want to make sure that you have not merged the layers, flattened the layers. If you have, it'll be fine, but if you haven't, it'll make things a lot more easier. So I have mine unmerged, unflattened. So I'm going to go over here to the slice tool. Slice tool right there. I just click K for the shortcut. And once we have the slice tool, there's two base types of slices. Um, user slice and, um, as I would say, um, computer-based slice, which is the slices that the computer made for you, or apparently the slices will not work. Now, a user-based slice is a slice that you make using your make using your slice tool. It's more flexible in what you can do. I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. But If you go to, and if you have a user-based slice, it, it is just a lot more flexible in what you can do to it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you a regular user-based slice. A user-based slice would probably be this. It is a lot more flexible. You can change change the height. And an important tool in doing anything in Photoshop is going to it's opening the history tab. But if you don't have that open, that would be window history. A new slice. Okay. Now that the user base slice is very editable where we ha I'm gonna make a slice around this text up here. And I have that that is a user based slice. It is way more flexible on what it is. Now if I click on this text and go up to then go up to layer, new layer based slice. And what it does, it creates a slice around the whole layer. So when I how should I say this? It's a lot more it's not a lot more flexible but it more captures or it wraps around the whole layer so it actually works for you. It is a lot more better for your viewers that enter and see your website. So click new layer based slice and as you can see I cut it, I cut it off right at the end. But as you can see these blue lines that go down that cut off right here. Right here is a new slice. So I need to create new slices for each of the buttons. The slices are what if you imp if you exported this as it is with no slices, it would just be one big JPEG. You could not do anything on it, no layers, no nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create slices for each of them. So when you put your cursor over them, it puts a link on there if you have a attached a link or anything that you have. So I'm going to create a slice out of home. Okay, so I set of pictures, map, products, and videos. Then you want to slice up your whole thing that you have. So I'm going to create a slice right here. Create another slice above it. Create another slice over here. You want to slice up your whole layout. It will be a lot more flexible. Main content area. It's these little spaces over here. You also want to slice that up too. And see how I have this little tab down here? I'm gonna create a slice for that for each of these buttons too. So 
Face of one are sliced. And everything is sliced on my page, which is very good. Then once you have that sliced, you can export it into Dreamweaver. So I'm going to file, and we're going to save for web and devices. Go to JPEG, and I'm going to keep the quality 100. And as you can see, the size is 1.57K. Which is not that big. 100% quality. Okay, once I have that, click save. Save it as layout sliced. The HTML. Let's save it to my desktop. Make sure the format is HTML and images. Settings, default settings, slices, all slices. Click save. And that is all of the time that I have for right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to, to know how, how to finish exporting or opening the, your layout in Dreamweaver, please find my other video. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Okay, thank you for watching.